And this is where conventional medicine really misses the boat because what they're doing is using these drugs oftentimes and they're treating the symptom of the high blood glucose. And this can actually cause more issues. If we take the example of injecting insulin, which is, I believe, a further along step of, of treating type 2 diabetes, that's actually masking the underlying problem and can cause more of an issue over time. Exactly. So there's, again, you think about the two compartments, the blood glucose and the sort of body glucose, which is the storage, right? Same as you look at, you know, sort of what's on the table and what's in the fridge, right? There's what's what's in front of you that you can see, and then there's what's put away. So the blood glucose is what you can see. You can measure it, you can see it, but you can't see what's stored away. You don't know how much there is. You can only measure it indirectly through you know, the abdominal obesity, you can measure how big the liver is, that kind of thing. So for years, because the only thing we could see was the blood glucose, we thought that was the most important thing. And therefore, we should put all our emphasis on lowering this blood glucose. But there's two compartments, right? There's the blood glucose, there's the body glucose, which is the storage. So if you take that blood glucose and you simply shove it into your liver, take all that glucose, shove it into your liver, Okay, what's going to happen? Well, your storage compartment is going to increase and your blood glucose is going to decrease. That's what you told the body to do. So if your storage is full, so type 2 diabetes, storage is full, it's overflowing, all this glucose is overflowing out of the body into the blood. Now you take this, this insulin, this drug, and remember this is a standard medical practice, practiced by every single sort of specialist in the world for the last 40 years. They say, wow, your blood glucose is too high. Your body glucose is also too high, but they're only looking at the blood glucose. So they said, we need to lower it. We can lower it by taking the blood glucose and shoving it back into your liver. It's like, okay, but you haven't <laughs> fixed the problem because the problem was that your liver was overflowing. That was the whole problem in the first place. You're basically going to make it worse because the liver is going to take this glucose that you now shoved into the, glu into the, into the liver turn it into fat, right? So you take insulin, you gain weight because that's, we know that's a main side effect of insulin because that's what you're telling the body to do. Insulin tells your body to store more glucose. So you gain weight. As you gain weight, what happens to your type 2 diabetes? Well, it gets worse. Then you take more insulin. Then what happens? You gain more weight, which makes your diabetes worse, which makes your blood glucose higher, right? Because think about it, you're taking this glucose, you keep shoving it into this, it's, it's like you have an overfilled balloon, and you keep putting more and more and more into it. It takes more and more effort to fill this balloon that's already overfilled. So you're going to need more and more insulin just because you've got all this storage, which is completely full, you want to jam more into it, you got to use more force, you got to use more insulin, more insulin, more insulin, all the while, everything's blowing up, you're getting bloated, you're gaining weight, and so on. So the whole process you're making things worse because you never fix the underlying problem. And this is how people treat it. And the doctor said, well, the treatment is correct because the blood glucose is fine. Therefore, this must be just the way the disease is. It's chronic and progressive. Not understanding that their entire treatment paradigm was quite incorrect. In fact, what you should have done was get people to lose weight, not gain weight. If you give drugs that make people gain weight, your diabetes will get worse. Right? And, and, and patients saw it all the time. They're like, you gave me this insulin. I gained like 30 pounds. And then you gave me more insulin. Right? And it's like, how is that making better? It's like, it's not. What if you use something instead? So if you have too much glucose in the body, there's only two things you want to do to get rid of it. You either put less glucose in or you let your body burn it off. So if you let your body burn it off, say you use intermittent fasting or say you use low carbohydrate diet because that's less glucose, right? You eat other things such as proteins, which are amino acids or fats, but not glucose. So as you do intermittent fasting, for example, because that's the easiest to understand, you're not eating anything, your body's going to need to burn something. It's going to burn glucose. But now what's going to happen is that your blood glucose is going to go down because you're not putting in glucose. And your body's going to need to take glucose out of the storage. So instead of adding more to the storage, you're taking it out of the storage. And over time, as you lose weight, the diabetes get better, which means that you need less drugs. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there.
they were all on insulin and within a month all of all three of them were off of all their insulin and they'd been on the insulin for like 20 years right so 20 years they got off in a month so calories are a distraction because the body